woke up this morning to the delightful smell of gasoline. Turns out the support vehicle, the other van, has a hole in the fuel line. And so we've got to get that fixed this morning. Uh, we have to go to town anyway because we need some other supplies. So we're stopping off at the auto parts store to see if we can find a foot or so of fuel hose and some clamps. Should be pretty easy, we think. I don't know. He says drip. Definitely fuel full flowing out of there. You can see it even in the video. Stinks. The good thing is that's less than a foot of gas line. And we could probably just go down to the store and buy some. I can't tell where it's coming from. For sure. But we don't believe the canister's wet, do we? Book three, no. And when we move the hose, it definitely seems to stop for a little bit. You're right or left? Left. Left. You sure? Yes. Right. Are you sure it's left? We should go left. Left. Yeah, right. you're going left. I don't know if I'm ready to say this is it, but this looks this looks really good. This is 26 acres. It's actually a 20 plus a six on the corner, and uh, it's really, really pretty up in here. There's some really good sized timber. It's about three or four acres of timber. It's been logged maybe maybe 20 years ago. But there's some sizable stuff in here. It's kind of thick. It opens up into some of these really cool clearings. But it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know what this is, but it probably will kill me. I've eaten very few berries that I didn't know what they were. Just a few. They're okay. It's just thick enough that you can't really remember the way you went in. But it's okay. It's okay. If this, this could be cleared out and made into a really nice path. There's a lot of little deer trails and stuff through here. Lots of evidence of elk. Having been through here, the, uh, the owner happened to meet us here on the property. And I don't know if it was a coincidence or what, but we called about the property when we got here. He was driving up the road and he said, come on in, come on in. And so we came in and talked to him a lot about the history of the place. And he used to own all 46. He just sold off 20 a few years back and now he's selling off this side and he's uh, moving to Coeur d'Alene. So the biggest detriment to this is the price. It was more than we wanted to pay. And while there is a uh, single wide trailer on it, it is trashed. It is basically just used for storage or, or fire. So it's a bit of a mess. He wants rid of the trailer and the property, but he's slowly taking down the trailer because he can't get someone to come and take it. So I'm hoping there's a way I can work that to my advantage. Just so quiet up here. The way it always is, it seems so thick and dense and unusable. And this is a very small percentage of the property when you come out, it's quite different. There's over 20 acres out here that's mostly rolling. The creek at the bottom that's seasonal, so he says several months out of the year it'll run, but not year-round. The biggest detriment right now to us is there's a house on that hill, and there's a house down in that valley. But everything else about this is really fantastic. Just fantastic.
Is it fun, Ray? Rachel, is it fun? Yeah, it is fun. What you doing? Making my first ever bread on a stick wrap thing. thing. See if that works. I bet you she'll still eat it. Are you being silly? Is that ready? Megan's getting it ready. Going on one side, this side, cook through well. Like, wait, I'm going to do video? Tell me what you're doing. I am cooking a pizza roll over the fire. Pizza roll? What's in it? I don't know. I didn't make it. Come over here and show it to me. Cheese. Mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. Turn you. Peel it up until you reach the stick. Where'd you learn to do this? From a German. <laughs> Delicious. Wow, that's well toasted. Would you like to share it with me? Do you want a Did you lose of that, it? I'm sure. There's also marinara sauce and garlic butter. Oh, oh yeah. a bit. Sorry, that's too much. I don't think I'll put any sauce on it. Oh, butter. That's garlic butter. Garlic butter. Even better. Dad, even butter. That's why I was just not going to say. We're going to see. All right, tell me how it is. It's really good. <laughs> is there any more down? Oh, it tastes like garlic knot. Have you have one? Have one? Oh, are you going to have one? Yeah, I will. Is there enough for two more? Probably. Yay. This is I'll this have, um good? I'll have yep. none more after this one. Yeah, you have a big one, Rachel. Oh yeah, that that We fixed the van, bought a new uh, fuel line, two new clamps, done and done. The uh, gas had been dripping on the asphalt all day and it Etched a little hole in the asphalt. Can I see the Megan? No. Terrible. Little hole. There we go. I can't believe it actually made a hole. Yeah. Can I see the asphalt. Yes. That is gross. We're trying to figure out how long has it been dripping because this is the first time we've parked on the asphalt in this whole trip. That's true. Everything else has been rocks or dirt and we may not have noticed it because it's soaked in. No. Well, maybe. Who knows? I'm glad it's fixed though. We started up a huge plume of white smoke with the whole campsite covered in white smoke. Sorry, sorry. Today's going to be quite a push. We're in St. Marie's, Idaho. We're going to try to be in Yellowstone by tonight at 6 a.m. Rolling everyone out of bed. Time to go.
thing so that my thumb would go into the nut. I plead the fifth. I have several witnesses. <laughs> I saw it. No, you didn't see anything. <laughs> Carbella, I now know. <laughs> um, it's a state or national recreation site and it's free camping. Mm -hmm. They have tables and fire rings, which we're probably not going to use a fire ring at least. Maybe we'll sit at the table for dinner. Uh, a lot of bugs, though I don't see any mosquitoes yet, but a lot of little flying moths or gnats or something like that. Anyway, we just made it in. This is just north of Gardner, which is just north of the Yellowstone border uh, in Montana. Beautiful, beautiful out here. See if we can see the setting sun in the background there. And uh, it's really great. Really great little spot we got going here. Kind of fun. <laughs> steal that on this property there's a model a ford 1930 and model I, a i'm swooning i really want a truck of around the same era but uh that's super cool 